Hello, this is Jane Tolbert and the inspiration for today's adventure arrived at about three o'clock this morning. I sat bolt upright in bed, exclaiming the name Joan Aiken. And the backstory to this is that about three months ago, I was having a conversation with a friend of mine called Erica Dornbush. Erica is an artist and we were discussing a potential collaboration and I was trying to express the kind of artwork I was hoping for from an illustration point of view. And I had a particular book in mind. It was my favourite book in the early 70s. I could see it in my mind's eye, but I couldn't for the life of me remember who had written it. I had no idea who had illustrated it, and I couldn't remember the title of it either. And last night, three months later, my unconscious mind returned from its quest. Three months, that's a long time looking, isn't it? And let me know that it was Joan Aiken. So this morning, when I got up, I went onto my computer and I googled, only to found that Joan Aiken died in 2004, but her daughter, Lizza, has created a website to celebrate all the books she's written. It's a celebration of her life, her books, and the illustrators with whom she worked. And I scrolled through the bibliography on that website until I recognised the book that I had had as a child. It was called The Kingdom Under the Sea and Other Stories. It was illustrated by a guy called Jan Pienkowski. I think that's how you say his name. The illustration style was, I suppose now I look at it, very 1970s. Ink swirls and then black silhouettes of characters on the ink swells. And I, I think I really love that because I'm an inferential reader, not a literal reader. I don't like too much information in writing and I don't like too much information in images. I like to use the image or the words to start a creative process off in my own head so that when I'm reading, it's a creative act. When I'm looking at a picture, it's a creative act for me too. And I think I like that about the illustration. It was really evocative as well and went really well with the stories, these Eastern European folk tales, which were told beautifully. So yeah, I then had the compulsion to write to Lisa, Joan Aiken's daughter, to let her know that even after all these years, her mother's book had had an impact on me. And I do believe at some level has had an impact, has been an inspiration for my own writing journey. And it felt really good after all these years to make contact. That's something that wouldn't have been possible. It wouldn't have been possible. I could have probably written to the publisher when I was a child, but I couldn't have found a way so rapidly to make that connection without the internet. So that felt good. Then I went back to sleep last night and then something really odd happened. I fell into a lucid dream. I was at my parents' house. I'm the age I am now and it was dusk, which I know to be from my fairy research, a very magical time. And I was standing in my garden watching me and I had my back to me and I could recognise it was me, so this long blonde hair standing in front of me. And I was inhabiting myself, watching myself, but also watching myself separately above, if that makes sense, as the observer of the dream. Now I was going to walk away from the version that was standing in front of me with its back to me, the version of me. But I said to myself, what are you doing? Don't walk her away from her, turn her around. So I turned myself around to face myself. 
And in that moment, there was this real feeling of recognition, connection, belonging, and being at home. And that's the sense I made of the dream. I think I'm really at home with myself right now. I feel connected to who I am. I feel I'm in alignment. What I'm doing is align is in alignment with who I really am and I'm really enjoying playing with different ways of expressing myself. All the energy seems to be heading in the right direction direction. I mean the same direction. I'm not losing any of the energy from the circuit board of life. It's lighting everything up for me. It's brilliant. That's me today, my adventure. Contacting the daughter of Joan Aiken to let her know that her mother's work had an impact on me as a child and still has today. Brilliant.